Hi, my name's Leanne O'Sullivan from Summit School with Leanne O, and you are watching the Online Prosperity Show. And today, Prosper and I are going to be talking about uh, digital marketing for small business and some of the key things you need to be looking out for in 2018. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got the digital strategist herself, Leanne. Leanne, how are you doing? I'm going very well. Thanks for having me on the show. Well, thank you so much. And especially people like yourself that are, you know, inclined to help people with their businesses so that they're profitable and enjoyable. You will be a favorite in this episode and in this show here. Now, for those that consistently watch our episodes, you know that we want to help your businesses um, also get profitable and you can enjoy actually working uh, with them. That's the reason why we bring in um, experts like Leanne um, that have worked in the industry for longer than I have or we have. Um, she's been in it for the last 18 years, uh, significantly yeah. with her digital marketing agency, Big Blue Digital. And they have seen the whole uh, pace of technology change and moving so quickly, but a lot of businesses have been left behind and she is helping those established businesses to actually, um, you know, start off with their digital strategy, have a marketing plan and actually have a business that they enjoy working in. Now, did I say that right, Leanne? You most definitely did. Actually, it sounds like I'm pretty busy from all those things that you were saying then. <laughs> well, you, you obviously are because dealing in the digital space is not an easy endeavor. Tell me how you actually um, got started and what prompted you or what inspired you to start working in the digital marketing space. Uh, well, we've been in this field for about 18 years. So that's a long time, I think, in any industry, but I think that's probably nearly on record in this industry. So we've seen a lot of change and i think i think back to when we started we have a very traditional um history for this particular industry we started out in web development like just about every web company on the planet in our garage um so we started off really small we started building websites ourselves we then started to code things and get it into making heaps of tools you know we had a content management system we built our own email marketing system we built our own shopping cart we did a lot of coding and then we realized that that was not sustainable model uh, because the pace of change and client expectations in our industry as you know is is massive like what is in today something faster better easier gets dropped on us you know, in 12 months time or even faster. So we've seen massive change in 18 years, but the things that we liked doing back then, which was working with business owners and helping them, like creating things with them that help them grow their business has always been enjoyable. We've, we've seen a lot of industries, we've learned a lot from so many fabulous businesses over the years. And I think that I get a buzz out of that still and that hasn't changed in the 18 years that I've been, you know, working with businesses in this space. So that's been a really great plus. I suppose the other thing that's changed heaps in that time frame is, and I look at our business as a great way of showcasing that, when we started, we were all about just building tools. So, you know, we built websites or we built software that drove websites. Whereas over the years, What's happened in the whole industry has been less about what the tools are. It's more important that we focus on how we use them to make connections with our customers. And I think that's the big thing that's happening in the digital space now, that it's not about the tools because they come and go and, you know, heaps of people in Silicon Valley make millions of dollars off them. But as business owners, as people that we need to, you know, as we need to work with, um, other companies as we want to grow our business it's about the connections and i think social media helps us do that i think uh, content marketing you know blogging tools and email marketing helps us build connections and as any business owner knows your customers the ones that come back to you again and again they're the ones that we love those lifers they're the ones that we really really love and i think that that's what digital marketing really helps us do 
find those people, make that connection and keep that customer for life. And I love that. Understandable. Like you did mention something that uh, totally scares me. Every single day I wake up, Leanne, I look up a um, website called Product Hunt just to see if somebody hasn't created something or some software designed to take my job away. And then <laughs> after that, I then realized that, no, the cost is clear. I can still go in there only because <laughs> I've connected with my customers. All right. So you yeah. did raise um, a valid point over there. So in the time that you've been um, sort of working in the 18 years um, a lot has changed, but do you notice something that has remained as a constant that people should actually really look out for when, um, you know, they venture into trying to market themselves online in the digital marketing space? Uh, I think there's two things as a business owner that people need to be mindful of. The first thing is what digital, the whole digital uh, revolution has done is that it's made everybody a lifelong learner. Like, it's not enough for us just to think this is how we do it, this is how we've always done it, or this is like that's gone. You cannot think like that or you're just dead in business. And I think that the whole, you know, it's a, it's a cliche, but digital disruption, that's what it actually means, that we need to be lifelong learners and we can't be afraid of learning new things, of trying new things. And that's been something that's really resonated with me in the course of my career that, you know, the businesses that succeed are the ones that learn and we learn fast on our feet and we need to be agile. The second thing that I think is so important and that's probably come oh, since really, I suppose, the advent of Facebook in particular and then all the other social channels that came after it which is the value of personal branding in business. So that's something that I think every business owner, particularly I think small business owners, because as much as we've got the dream of someone coming in and buying our business, until that wonderful day happens and our, that exit strategy is realised, we are our business and we need to be utilising these digital marketing tools to spread the message of who we are as a business owner, who we are as a business, what are our values, how can we help people, what's our message. I mean, a bit like exactly what you're doing in this show, like the reason you do this show is because you put you out there so your audience can hear you, can see you. That makes a massive difference in how we make those connections and secures the ongoing viability of our business. Understandable. Thank you so much uh, for that little one there. Now, at the end of the day, as, um, you know, maybe small business people that are probably watching this show right now and they're thinking, oh, now I'm going to have to be a lifelong learner. Now I'm going to have to wake up every single day and look at what's the next, um, you know, shiny object that I can chase down the rabbit hole. Do you have any programs that maybe some people can have a focused or, um, you know, a, a tailored sort of way of looking at things like um, maybe they can do it at their own expense that you help people with within your yes. business? Yeah, I absolutely do for that very reason because I don't want, and you know, you said that really key phrase like shiny object syndrome. We don't want to do that. Like we need to be, it's like digital marketing can seem like it's a smallest board. When you go to a smallest board, you see all this beautiful food, but only an idiot eats absolutely everything on the table because you feel really sick afterwards and you don't find the whole thing enjoyable. When we go to a smallest board, we see everything, but we're selective about what we choose. So what my business now specializes in is helping people with that choice. So I have a program in particular called the Digital Ascent that I run very regularly, I'm currently running one right now, that actually teaches business owners all the things that currently make up their potential digital ecosystem. So all the things in the web space, in the social space, in content marketing and in search, you pull them all together, you make up a digital strategy unique to you, your circumstance, your ability, your um, time frame, like we've got to be realistic about plans that we give ourselves. So I teach people a whole bunch of things and I help them make good choices in their business. So they learn, how do I know if I need to use this tool or this tool? What are my business goals? 
what tool is going to help me achieve those business goals? So I put that together in the programs called the Digital Ascent, uh, and that's a 12-week online program. So that's one of them. And another one that's actually, I think, a big, a really great skill, I think it's an essential small business skill. So this isn't one of those um, shiny object syndrome things, Facebook advertising. I really think that small business owners need to understand exactly how Facebook advertising works. And then even if they choose to outsource it to someone, they know where they're spending their money and how much money they should be spending. And again, they can make a wise choice because as small business owners, we hate like wasting cash. You know, I know I do. You probably do too. So I really... <laughs> I like for people to think, right, well, I know how this works and I can do it myself or I'm going to pay someone to do it because I know that that's a better use of my time, but I can help, like I can make a wise decision. I know what the information that they're giving me back tells me. I know how to set my budgets. I know how to pick my audiences. So that program is called the Facebook Frontier and I, I really think that that's a great little program. It only goes for four weeks. Um, but it's a fabulous program, I think, for small business owners. It really helps you get going in what can be sometimes a bit of a, uh, people can find it a bit confusing when they get started with advertising inside Facebook. And I look to just help them with that confusion, like lift the veil, show them the steps, tell them how, how they make choices, how they can test what's working and, you know, go from there. So they're just a couple of the things. But yes, I very much like to, guide people through a process, show them the tools, explain the tactics, help them make choices because we all make choices about how we want to spend our time and we cannot do everything. We are not going to be Homer at the smallest board and like chowing down on all the food. We can't do that. Understandable. <clears throat> you, you started talking about food and I'm thinking I'm, I'm a hungry kid from Africa. So any food is good food for me. <laughs> Table. You're done on the whole table. <laughs> Great stuff. All right. So obviously when, when um, somebody would have been listening to this, uh, Leanne, and they probably sitting at the edge of their seat, um, especially this Facebook um, coaching that you do, how can people get a hold of you there? Okay. So if they want to get in contact with me about the Facebook course, it's facebookfrontier.summitschool.com.au or they can find me at my website, leanneo.com okay or they can find me on any social media channel because i am all over the internet on all those social media channels because i need that's one of the, the headaches i think of our job is that even though i tell my clients you don't need to be everywhere you make choices <laughs> when you teach digital marketing i've got to be everywhere so i know how these tools work so i can help any client depending on what platform suits them and snapchat which I, oh, I think i'm just getting too old in the tooth for snapchat i really do you i, I don't think you you are old um <laughs> i am not also involved in snapchat the reason being uh facebook just totally ripped off everything that snapchat had to offer in the terms of you know facebook stories instagram stories so Absolutely. we've noticed the biggest heist in the whole internet, um, you know, uh, as we know it, you know, people yeah. stealing from each other in daylight, ro in, in, in broad daylight. So at the end of the day, I think tools like Facebook, tools like uh, Snapchat, Instagram, they're good to have. But as business people, my main thing is to make sure that when your message is really resonating to the market that you're going to be speaking to the media can always vary okay uh, back in the time coca-cola 100 years ago was you know advertising on newspapers now they're advertising in blogs and stuff like that so the media can always constantly vary so that shouldn't be something people should be too romantic on so i was really happy that you brought out the subject that yes you can be on all the social media platforms but you don't really have to you just gotta make sure that your message is out there your your audience knows where to find you and etc etc well this has been fantastic, Leanne, and uh, I'm really grateful for your time and your expertise, um, you know, that you've just shared with us. Um, is there anything that maybe you might think 
Um, I mean, obviously you've been in the business long enough, 18 years and 2018 is just going to be yet another year. Do you think there's anything that people that are watching this episode right now should probably look out for in terms of, you know, trends to watch out for in 2018 that uh, might help their business profitable and enjoyable? Um, I definitely think if they're not automating a lot of their, um, their, their workflow, they need to be investigating tools because those things have become so much more affordable now. So I definitely think that they should be looking at automations and integrations, you know, between their web stuff, their accounting stuff, their email marketing in particular and the customer journey stuff. So automation is that price point is coming right down, very achievable for small business. So I think that's an absolute must have. That's how you get some enjoyableness back in your business by not spending so much time chasing your tail. Uh, and the other thing, this year is the year of video, but I think it's actually going to continue into next year. And the other thing that I'm so surprised about, but it is going off, is you've got to go back and revisit your LinkedIn profile. Everybody needs to go back and revisit LinkedIn again because I don't know what's going on over there, but suddenly all the old fogies have gone, hang on a second, LinkedIn is a social network. So if you haven't been paying attention to LinkedIn, you got to go back there now and start paying attention to it. It's a much better place. <laughs> Understandable. I was just sitting there and going, oh, guilty. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, me too. I Me too. But yes, absolutely. If you haven't been there, you need to go back and have a bit of a sticky beak and see what's going on. It is a revelation. Great stuff. They are also introducing video, like you've mentioned, and that's the reason why we're putting in a whole backlog of all these videos. You never know where they're going to be needed, and we already have them uh, in store. Well, thank you so much, Leanne, for your expertise and your time, especially um, on this episode here today. No problem. Thank you very much for having me. It's been fun. Fantastic. Thank you.